Geographic magazine and it was about saving energy and it states that it should start at home and I agree but I also say that it should start at school. Uh-huh. Of course man, they're wondering how much energy we were using so we went around to different classrooms to take, take an energy audit. Uh, and so we came up with how much it cost and uh, we were wondering if we could lower the cost. Mm -hmm. When we went around, we used a kilowatt meter. Kilowatt meter. It's measuring how many watts the pencil sharpener is using. Well, we use this, and there's a big difference between these two sharpeners. So, this um, X-Acto pencil sharpener uses a lot more energy than this one. Oh, this pencil sharpener, the one you use with your hand, uses no kilowatts and saves a lot of energy. This is an infrared thermometer, which when you hold down the button, it shows a laser that can tell the temperature. And it's 66, which, and we found out that there we need to seal it on the side so that not all the heat goes out, which wastes energy and we lose money. This is a book called My Light, and it's about solar energy, well, how we take energy from the sun. And my favorite part is the wind energy one and the solar energy one. We had a 10 for 10 project, and the subject was greener and cleaner. And for my project, I chose the 48 hours, totally green. So we, we unplugged all our TVs. My mom was wondering if the electric company would call us and wonder why we weren't using any. <laughs> So the fifth grade, we went on a field trip to the National Building Museum, and there we built like a small house, and the house was pretty much entirely green. The floor was completely made out of recycled bottles. Well, for my 10 more 10 project, I decided to do it on how I walked to school. And my, me and my me and my family were helping me to see if ever we did the math to see if everyone in my school walked to school how much energy we would save and we learned that for every gallon of gas you burn you 20 pounds of carbon dioxide goes up into the atmosphere it's much more eco-friendly to walk to school about three weeks ago me and my class were working on a um, we're working on several posters, to, and we wrote on the posters a, lot, a ton of ways to save energy. Mm, to two of the lights are turn off the heat when you leave the house, and the other one is use the swirly bulb instead of the big bulb. You can also put this as a servant. You can also say we went down. A light meter. And it's showing how much energy that we're using. And right now is in 44, 45. And then to say in our sixth grade classroom, uh, the temperature stay kind of at a steady uh, temperature because our classroom is either too hot or too cold. So what I'd like to see is in some of the bathrooms not have that much that many light bulbs because we found out that there's too many and we don't need that much. Um, I'd like to see that if the heater is on to keep all the windows closed or make sure that the door is closed so it's not um, letting the heat out. I would like to see instead of turning up the heater, um, you should turn it off and put on a sweater. Um, what I'd like to see in our classroom uh, is lights um, are always turned off because um, we don't really need them when they're turned off. We can still see. 
I'd like to see as mu as many people as they could drive to drive to school in eco friendly cars. What I wish is people using swirly um, bulbs. The swirly bulbs. Well, I wish we had a windmill or a solar panel so that we didn't have to use coal because a lot of our students at school have asthma and we know this contributes to air pollution. Today!